All right, so this is the first episode of the Mind Investors Podcast, episode one, one of many. And with your host, Justin from You Are Creators and Al the Jeweler. But I call him Al the Juice Man because he got juice. <laughs> Al the Juice Man. What's going on, bro? Where are you right now? Good, good, good. Everything's good. Where are you right now? I'm actually in Miami now. Business pleasure? What? Both, both. Business and pleasure. <laughs> I have both. <laughs> okay, so... Can't have one without the other. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. So, question. What is our intention with this podcast? You go, then I'll go. Our intention is uh, to help the world and help everyone that we can reach out to with the uh, information that we have because we have uh, very valuable information that can change people's lives, can change people's lives for the better or uh, if they're in a situation, at least not make it worse than it is. Because people are doing things and they don't even know why they're doing them. Mm -hmm. And also, they're not using all the information that is provided for them. So we're here to provide the information for them so they could understand uh, different values and different secrets in life. And follow these secrets to prevent different downfalls absolutely absolutely so my intention is the same thing this podcast is unlike any other podcast out there and i say that because we're going to talk about things that no one else talks about spiritual metaphysical aspects that no one dares to touch we're going to touch it though so my intention, my intention is to spread knowledge, to remind people of who they are and what they can actually be. So this is my intention with this podcast, spread knowledge. Knowledge is power in the physical world, power in the physical world, you know, and the knowledge that we're spreading is how to get rich through honest means, through metaphysical means. But also, I mean, just show people how to use these spiritual practices to create an amazing life. That's our intention. Well, many people find ways to get rich, and uh, they do get rich, and they do make a lot of money, and uh, they do acquire, you know, uh, many things that come with wealth, cars, houses, and uh, jewelry, and all kinds of great things that uh, mankind has made. But the thing is that there's a very big issue keeping all these things. Keeping all these things is a very big issue. So it's not really, it's not that hard to become rich, but keeping everything you acquired and staying rich and having the longevity of staying rich, that's a very big problem nowadays because with all the, the networks and uh, the social media, everybody's putting out all the information out there, you know, who's doing what, who's driving what car, who's uh, dating who, uh, who's doing business with who, and basically all the information is just, everything's out there. And I think information, uh, it's very, very important. Absolutely. Why? Because Absolutely. It, could be, it, it could be used against you. Absolutely. I think that um, we should kind of we should show people step by step. Okay? Step by step um, how they can change their mindset so they can be rich. 
You know what I'm saying? So, from my experience, when I learned how the mind is is somehow interacting with the physical world, my mind started to work for me instead of against me. See, thing is, most people don't know that your thoughts are energy. Thoughts are energy. And all energy attracts similar energy. Bad attracts bad. Good attracts good. Wealth attracts more wealth. Lack attracts more, more lack. When I learned this, Adam, my life was transformed. Because I started to put out the energy of wealth and, and prosperity by acting as if, by playing make believe. Things started to move around me. That's how powerful we are, Al. You know this, just like I know this, but you will become how you act. You know, Do I agree with you, you? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you are feeling like you're poor, saying that you're poor, saying that you're broke, you have no choice but to attract similar circumstances that bring you more poverty because that's what you're asking for. You're broadcasting this energy. How do you feel about that? And I feel like the feeling of feeling, of feeling uh, rich or feeling poor is a state of mind. It's a momentum. So in uh, today's world, we have the ability to make ourselves feel rich, to make us feel wealthy. And a lot of people are doing it. They're going out there and renting houses that are gorgeous just for the day. They're going out there to, uh, you know, rent these uh, beautiful, gorgeous cars, you know, just for the day. And they feel great about themselves having these things at least for a day or two or three days. And it kind of uh, starts the motor and the momentum to work towards, you know, becoming the person that you're trying to see yourself right become. right so last so week when, very important yeah 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 so last week when you were at my house you told me to buy a special chair you said buy this chair buy a very expensive chair just because this chair will make you feel a certain way. You'll, you'll feel like a boss. You'll feel rich. And the feeling is what attracts things to you. Can you talk more on that? Well, everything, uh, everything has an effect on, uh, on our feeling. Absolutely everything. Colors right. have effect on how we feel. Uh, colors have effect on how our body feels our mental state of mind, uh, clothing, ve even vehicle, car, or uh, anything, anything that has to do with any type of objects or any colors, everything changes how we feel. So what I was telling you is that to buy this chair and put it in your office so you could feel when you sit on this chair and speak with strength and authority. Right. So if you sit on, uh, you know, a park bench, you can't speak out of a park bench or regular chair with authority. That's why kings and queens had these magnificent, you know, crafted special uh, thrones for them. And only they were able to, to speak with authority. And the throne and these uh, magnificent chairs possess the energy of authority. So, I have, uh, I have an example I want to make, and uh, this is an example of a rabbi. So, when I say about the feeling, this rabbi would bring $50,000 and put it, you know, under uh, a booth where he would uh, speak from to the audience at the synagogue 
And every Friday when he was ready to speak, and Saturday that money would stay in this booth and he would speak. And at the end of when the Shabbat is over, he would uh, take the money out of the booth and uh, bring it back to whoever owned this money. So question for this rabbi was, why are you doing this? And his answer was that the physical amount of money being next to him would make him feel strong and he was able to be himself and speak with authority to people and speak with confidence just by yeah. having the money next to him. So the feeling is very important and I think we should protect our feeling and momentum and emotion and don't allow anyone to uh, barge in and destroy any good feeling that you have. Absolutely, absolutely. So one thing that I teach is protecting your energy, not telling everybody your business, moving in silence almost, because sometimes family or friends can disrupt your flow of energy, you know? And they do that with the energy that they're putting out. Right. So how do you protect your energy? Well, this is, this is uh, a very big topic, and I'm going to give skim milk. Okay, skim, skim milk. Skim milk, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to give skim milk. And uh, I've said this before. You have to insulate your energy. And when... When I started to actually determine, uh, 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 um, review the word, insulate your energy, I realized that insulating your energy is by speaking less. Mm. By speaking less and by speaking less about your dreams, your goals, and what you're going to do now and what you did yesterday. And by speaking less about everything that you have going on in your life. All the good to people that you have no idea what their intentions are. Right. You have no idea. And even if you think their intentions are good, their thoughts could poison everything. And thoughts are very powerful. And um, I think if you have multiple thoughts of 5, 10, 20, 30 people and you're telling them that something's going to happen, most likely everything's going to get ruined because the power of thoughts is powerful. Mm. And th th their, their thoughts could destroy a real estate deal. Their thoughts could destroy a beautiful woman that you like, you just told them about that you're going on a date with. Their thoughts could uh, destroy, you know, telling them about the nice jewelry you just bought and all the cash you have at home, and all this stuff by information, you know, just by saying a few words, a few words could get you in, in very big trouble. Very big trouble. You know, mm. gotcha. words could get you in very big trouble. So I think information is very, very important to be insulated within yourself and only speak with people and share things with people that you're doing, that you're actually doing the deals with, that you're actually, you know, doing something with. Right. Because their mind is aligned with your mind, the positivity of that energy, two energies. What happens is if it's like a circuit of strength that makes it happen because two aligned powers are trying to make it happen. But when you have several other people that don't have anything to do with what you're doing and you're telling them all these things, they're just knocking down the power of happening now. Mm, interesting. So you believe that other people's thoughts can somehow affect your success? Of course. Of course. And I believe that everyone should learn how to insulate their energy and insulate their success, protect their success from exposing it. What's mm. happening now within, you know, 
the internet era, everybody's exposing their success. Everybody's exposing their success. And then everybody's wondering, you know, why is this happening to me? And uh, people, for example, jewelers exposing their success so large, but you have thousands and thousands of people watching it and saying, you know, hey, great for him. But then you have the other hundreds of thousands watching, hey, listen, I hope he gets robbed. I hope, uh, you know, he dies or I hope, you know, things don't go good for him. And it becomes an energy spiritual war. These thoughts become like, you know, like, like laser bullets once against another. And okay. so, what happens is things start to get destroyed. Got you, got you. So from my situation, the opposite happened, all right? So the thing is, I come from a very, very religious family. I love my family, you know? I love my family. But my family... Um, wasn't really in agreement with what I teach people. So therefore, they wanted me to stop. They kind of cursed what I was doing, but I succeeded anyway. I started to, to bloom and blossom anyway. So I believe if you raise your energy large enough, your energy can... can and somehow trumps any other energy that that is like secretly trying to destroy yours. If that makes sense to you, it does. It does. And uh, what I want to say is that uh, your case is a little different. Okay. Wait wait, hold on. wait, 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 wait. Tell people who you are and what you do for a living. They don't know yet. Well. I own an investment company, and I partner with multiple hedge funds. What we do is we fund different type of deals, hotel deals, uh, regular fix and flips. I mean, absolutely almost everything. Uh, regular mortgages, refinance, FHA loans, and uh, as far as private money, hard money. We venture capitalists. Import export deals, different type of uh, finance deals, and then the import export and the real estate, and also now in the jewelry business. So, what I wanted to say actually about what you just mentioned is that your situation is a little different. Why? Because you weren't exposing yourself as the show-off guy and showing off your wealth to people and things like that. So you were actually helping people and helping thousands, including myself. And when I say myself, I mean, I listen to your programs and your videos and your informations every day for the past five years. So you help thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And I know people, now I actually, I, I've met people recently that I didn't even know they know you. So you were helping thousands of people and you had very, very limited amount of people who, you know, preyed on your downfall or uh, gave out that negativity towards your uh, success of doing something positive. So it's like the good winning over bad. Didn't mm, work. Got you. Didn't work. Got it's you. not going to work when you have thousands of people you know, saying, oh, my God, Justin Perry, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So you have thousands of thoughts, thousands of thoughts, thousands of blessings, of gratitude, of thank you. Thank you, Justin Perry, for your material, including me. How could, you know, four or five people or 20, even 50 people, they can't, you know, win and right, beat this uh, right. spiritual war over this energy. It's impossible. So your case is a little different. What I, what, what I meant by, you know, exposing your success is actually showing off your wealth. Showing off your wealth, showing off your success, you know, uh, making people feel like, you know, like you have the wealth and they're sitting on the other side saying, you know what, why him, not me? 
Right. And we, what we do is actually we create enemies. We cre we're, we're the creators of jealousy. We're the creators of enemies. We, we create jealousy within people. And then we wonder, why are they jealous? Why are they mad? Why are they hating? We create jealousy and hatred within people by showing them things and making them feel uh, one less than the other. Mm. So by doing that, you know, these people, you know, they feel some type of way and they pray and they say, why him, not me? And when they pray, they pray and the energy goes up and... A lot of this energy is a very spiritual war. This energy starts to, you know, attack that person. Starts to attack and it attacks from all different angles. And this is thousands and thousands of, of thoughts, thousands of people. And, and, and thousands of these energies, they, 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 they pile up with a big circuit and they start to attack that person. And things happen. People are getting shot. People are getting robbed. People are getting, you know, uh, you know, the house is going on fire. They're starting to get sick. A lot of things happen. And these things don't happen for no reason. And some people are just, you know, they think about it like, hey, you know, it's life. No, it's not life. Because people that are not showing off, there's so many millionaires and so many wealthy people that you don't see on the Instagram. You right. don't see them. I just recently spoke with a woman who told me she put her dog pictures on Instagram and Facebook and the dog's starting to get sick within the next week. So mm. the, 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 the power, the power of the eye, the power of the eye is so strong. It can make airplanes fall, you know? So the power of the eye on this dog made this dog sick. And luckily she had somebody who was, uh, you know, like a magnetic field energy healer. He was able to heal the dog and, you know, kind of, get the negativity out of this dog and she deleted all the pictures from Facebook and Instagram and now the dog is fine. So there's several, several stories and several people, including myself, suffered from the bad human eye that, that's, very, that's so destructive. And the only reason it's so destructive is because you sh people are showing to other people that don't have the funds to go to a vacation and they're showing their own vacation, you know, seven days a week, you know, years rounds. They're showing all this money. They're showing all these things they're showing off. And what are the emotions of millions of people when they're looking at this person? Not good. Most of mm -hmm. them are not good. So, okay. So, I agree with you on certain aspects and then certain aspects I don't because from my understanding and my belief system, I believe let's say 500 people want harm to follow me. I believe that my energy is so strong that since I create my reality, Yes, we are co-creators. Yes, everyone is creating their own reality. Yes, everyone is a piece of the divine, God. Everyone is. Everything is. I still believe that people can want bad things to happen to you. A lot of people can. But your energy trumps all other energies. I believe that. Now, thing, you get this. Now, I also believe that Everyone is slightly telepathic, meaning we can pick up on thoughts and intentions of people even thousands of miles away. And sometimes their negative energy can enter our mind and then cause us to feel a certain type of way. Now, if you let them, if you let that person make you feel a type of way, then you begin to start to like attract things that matches that negative energy. That's kind of how this whole system works, I believe. And uh, I'm actually getting goosebumps because I have something in my mind I want to say. And I, I do agree with everything you said, but to a level, why? Because, yes, we do have our own energy. 
Yes, we do have a magnetic field. Every human being has a magnetic field, and this magnetic field is constantly, you know, charged, and it constantly can be worked on. Constantly, the vibration in the magnetic field can be empowered, and everyone has a different strength of this magnetic field. Everyone right. has a magnetic field, and everyone has different strength of this magnetic field. But what I would like to say is that this magnetic field could be broken. Mm, and I've personally had my magnetic field broken years ago. Yes. There, there, there are people out there that, that have abilities and powers who could break through your magnetic field and your body starts to vibrate different. Once your vibration is disturbed, everything starts going in the wrong direction for you. For sure, you're right, man. Women are not coming your way. The funds are leaking out of your pockets. <laughs> right. um, you know, you're accidentally, you know, to put the car in reverse and you just hit somebody. You know, different things occur. And they start occurring over and over and over, one after the other. And I've had this personally happen to me. I had my magnetic field broken years back. And there are special people who could repair your magnetic field. But how is this magnetic field, you know, could be broken? The magnetic field could be broken with a power of multiple negative energies. Because the body vibrates on a positive and negative negative energy, we have it's a balance. We have channels, the negative energy and the positive energy, just like a battery, you know, flows. Once you have, you know, your channels clogged up with overflowing with negative energy, your body starts to vibrate different, and you could feel it. You could feel it, like you feel anxiety, or you feel something. You start to feel it. So what I want to say is that. Yes, we do have our own energy. Praying and working on yourself and, uh, you know, and meditating and doing everything that people do to keep their higher self up, it's good. But every human has different abilities and every human is one stronger than the other. And there's humans. Mm, that we're exactly. just looking with the eyes can make very bad things happen for you. That's why a lot of wealthy, rich people don't put things in this clothes and show their wealth and throw themselves out there, you know, and show off all their money and show off all their cars. People tend to move in silence, and the ones that do actually move in silence keep their longevity of success just because somebody's successful for a year or two years or three or four how many you know successful people we've had that just you know became successful and then you just don't hear about them anymore they're gone got you got you it makes sense so your advice is to dream to visualize to do your affirmations but do it in silence keep it to yourself yes Yes. I get that. I get it. 100% I get it. Yes. 100% I get it. Um, you know, many teachers teach that. I don't really teach it because that wasn't my experience. When I first understood the law of attraction, I told everybody, I'm like, dude, I'm rich. I'm successful. I'm a best-selling author. I was speaking things into existence even before I saw them physically, right? And, uh-oh, okay. And every single thing that I said I would do started to manifest around me. And everyone that doubted me or laughed at me was now asking for advice. You know what I'm saying? Right. But... You're right. Move in silence. Move in silence. Less is more. The reason why the reason why I speak I'm speaking about this today is because I am a victim myself. 
I am a victim of exposing my success to almost everyone. And I know several people that suffered from exposing their success. And like I said, I am a victim of exposing my success and telling people about deals, telling people about things that I do, you know, sharing things with people that, you know, don't want you to have anything. Right. You know, they, they, they don't want, they just, you know, even if somebody, if, even if you have somebody who's very wealthy next to you, he's okay with you just being rich, but not richer than him. Mm. And he will do everything to keep you there. So if you have a friend who's very rich or rich and you feel like, hey, you know, he's rich, he wouldn't be jealous of me. He wouldn't uh, put that negative energy into me. Yes, he will, because he sees the potential in you of rising higher than him. So he will do anything to keep you right there below him where you're standing. And you'll be stuck for months, for weeks, for days, for years. I don't know. So, I mean, if that's the case, you need new friends. You know what I mean? I mean, you need people around you that want the best for you. That's 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 rooting for you. That's really rooting for you. So for me, my friendships, you and I, we root for each other. We build one another. We each other. Because Not everybody has a pure heart. Not everybody true, has a pure true. heart. And a lot of times, uh, it's not even the person. It's 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 the way they're built. The subconscious mind can curse you. Mm. The subconscious mind can curse you. It's like an autopilot. You know, they, they they can they can they can they can wish well, but their right. subconscious mind is programmed to wish bad. How so, about this? How about this? So we know what we don't want to happen. We don't want people sabotaging us, right? What do we want? Because I have trained myself to only focus on, to refocus myself on what I want to happen. I don't talk about what I fear. I don't talk about what I don't want to happen because that's energy. That's giving energy to what I don't want. So what do you want to happen? Um, I would like, the audience and everyone that's listening to us uh, to keep their plans to themselves okay. and within the circle that are involved uh, in the deal they have going on or just the, peop the people that need to know, the people that are involved are the people most likely are the people that have the energies aligned with yours for things to happen. So if you have one person that has so much interest for this deal to close, and then you have yourself or another person, then the deal will close, most likely. But if you're telling people that have no association with what you're doing whatsoever, that's not, that, that's not a very good thing to do. So my advice is, inform people with information that needs to be informed with to the people that are involved in the circumstances and in the situation of whatever is it that you're doing. Got you. And Got you. This way you will be able to insulate your energy, yourself, the deals, your wealth, and everything. Okay, so how about this? New topic. The last time you was on YouTube, we talked about charging your money. Charging your money so you can multiply your money and attract more money. So please break down for the audience what is charging your money. Well, 
Well, like I was explaining in the last uh, video, the money comes, the money is made out of a material. And this material comes from the ground. Whatever the money material, whether it's hemp, whether it's cotton, whatever the material that the money is made out of, there's an involvement of water. Obviously, these things had to grow from water. So the money has the ability to be charged and energized by praying over this money, by feeling this money, mm -hmm. by talking to the money. When people say, you know, uh, <clears throat> talk to your money, talk to your money. And you think like, you know, uh, talk to your money sounds a little crazy. <laughs> How do you talk to your money? <laughs> you <know? laughs> They're going to think you're a cuckoo. You need to go to a mental hospital, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, you could actually talk to your money. Why? Okay. Because it has the ingredient of water there. And water can listen. So, you know, people say when you receive money from a bad cause or you're doing something bad, this money, you know, it's no, it's not good money because it came from a, it, it didn't come to you in, from a positive situation. There's different situations where money come from. When, when, when you make money from a situation that you don't feel good about, you know, you're not putting out excuse me, the positivity of that energy into your money. Therefore, good things don't happen with that money. Mm -hmm. And it's going through. So when you have, for example, when you borrowed money from somebody, right? Right. And those people are sitting there with thoughts, you know, this guy's a piece of shit. I gave him the money. He's not picking up the phone. You know, he's ignoring me, you know. What's going on? And you have the, ge the, the the fumes are generated, the anger, and it builds up over and over. So what do you think, uh, How, w w what kind of an effect that has on your magnetic field and on yourself when you have people that are old money finally see you on the street or somewhere or you meet with them? What kind of energy are they giving out with their eyes, with their thoughts, with, with, with just with everything? Anger, hatred, and, you know, and this is totally not good for your vibration, not good for your magnetic field. And I think owing money in general, besides owing money to a bank, is, is not a good way to go. Gotcha. That money gives out, it doesn't bring any good, doesn't bring any good because that person's thoughts on that money that he gave to that person with anger, don't bring anything good. You start to receive losses. Right. So this is money psychology. Right? This yes. is metaphysical money psychology. You know? So for me, for me, I view money as a woman. Very similar to River Knight. And I think of money as a living consciousness. A woman. And if you talk bad about this woman, or say that you don't need her or want her, she will stay around you. She will run from you. But if you talk good about your money, if you praise and say, thank you for being in my life, multiply. Multiply. Somehow, some way, that energy goes out, and that feeling that you are producing within you starts to attract really good energy regarding money. Your money will multiply. Talk to your money. I, I don't think I don't think I, I don't think everyone knows about this. There's uh, very limited people that know about this. That's one, and. Uh, the ones that do actually use this and they're successful, but the ones that don't 
Uh, not not that many people know about this. Not that many people know, you know, to speak to your money, to treat the money a certain way, you know, for that energy, for the energy to give out a certain energy. And uh, I think it's because of lack of education about right. money. And also, you know, everything takes maintenance. Mm. You have to maintain your energy that you put in, in into anything that you put your energy in. You have to maintain. Right. You, know, you have to maintain the energy that you put in to, in your money, the energy you put in in your business, the energy you put in in your family, in yourself, in your friends, and in, in, in absolutely everything, even a car. You know, if uh, you're driving a car and you take your car to a car wash, after you drive to that car wash, the vehicle drives and feels different because you wash away that negative energy. Gotcha. Maintenance. Like you said, the maintenance. Eye, Everything the takes eye, maintenance. The human, the human eye that looks at this, you know, white Ferrari or that red <laughs> Maserati, the human eye that looks, ah, oh, that piece of shit, you know. This guy got it, and I don't. I want the same car. I want the same car. This is just nature and uh, an automatic instinct of any human being. So by going through a car wash, when you finish with the car wash, the car feels different because, you know, the cleanse of the water. The water, the water cleans, you know, the, the water can clean energies the water can charge energies water plays such a big you know uh has such a big impact on our life right it, it's just amazing water makes miracles thing you know happen but we are also made out of water that's why we have this energy we're able Absolutely. to curse and we're able to bless Interesting. We're able to curse things and we're able to bless things. Why do people sit there and, you know, at dinners and bless their food? So many thousands of people, you know, Jews and uh, Christians and Muslims throughout the world, before they eat, they bless their water, they bless their food. They, they put in that energy into what they consume. You know, before they consume it, they, they, they want to charge it with their energy. They charge it with their energy, right? Yes, exactly. with their energy because we have that energy. And we exactly. have the energy, the power of curse, and the, the power basically of, of the power to create and the power to destroy. We have that power. We have it. but And but everybody uses this power with different authority. And there's different levels to this power. There's, you can have a thousand volts, five hundred volts. You know what kind of strength somebody, what 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 type of happiness somebody looks at you, your house, your woman, your kids. Was it really, really, really good energy? Was it okay? Was it bad? Was it worse? So there's levels of this energy, how this human eye that has all this water and has all this functions and has all this ability to create and destroy. Got you. Got you. How, what type of reaction and action the mind with the eye and the energy when it's created hits that object? Whether it's so, a live object or it's a you know, or, or or it's a dead object, but everything has vibration. We know it. You know, so people the, need to the bench, the bench I'm sitting on has vibration. It's made right. out of wood. Everything right, has everything has vibration. vibration. Right, everything, everything has vibration. So the lesson is, people need to monitor what they are speaking. Yes, because their words contain energy, and energy is just raw power. Yes. Yes. So, got you. And you and you yourself uh, don't say certain words in your home. No. You yourself told me, Al, I don't say these words in my home. And you wouldn't say certain words in your home because you feel like you know this this energy will stick to uh, 
you know, your walls and, you know, in the atmosphere. Yes. So your house yes. atmosphere, energy feels very driven, very positive. I mean, you, you could be dying in a hospital and you could just roll uh, somebody who's ready to die and just stroll them into your uh, living room. They'll, <laughs> they'll wake up. <laughs> 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 you know, your house energy is very strong. That's because you build that energy. But there's homes and vibrations that we enter that are not good energies. And they have an effect on your magnetic field and your energy. Like, for example, you get into a restaurant or, uh, you know, a, a, a museum or, or somebody's house where people curse day and night. I've entered somebody's home, you know, a family's home where they curse and argue so much that when I entered there, I felt like I had foam on the tip of my tongue. I felt like I was kind of like suffocating. I wasn't feeling well. And wow. at first I thought, you know, that, maybe maybe something wrong with me but then right. every time i would come to that home this uh such this would occur with me so i realized every time i come to that house day house i start to feel and have this foam in my mouth like my my my, my saliva would start feeling foamy i start feeling suffocating and i've asked several of my family members do you feel this way when you're into that home? And they said, wow, yes. And that's when I realized I need to stop entering into this house because the vibration is very low and it damps, it damps in your skin, it damps in your body. It, 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 it pollutes your magnetic field. 100%. Your low vibration. So you have to watch which, uh, you know, where you're entering. I like that. That's well, so where true. Where you're entering, what kind of building? Because so uh, true. You know, mold has vibration. Mold is a uh, you know is a bacteria. It's a moving bacteria, and there's many homes that have mold, and buildings that have mold. So when you're entering a vibration of mold, you start to feel. You 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 start to feel you start to feel sick. <coughs> right. You know, th different things, different metals have effect on us. For example, if you are, uh, you know, if you're entering a, a location where there's, you know, exposed hazardous materials, why do we have such a sensitivity to hazardous materials? Why do we have, uh, you know, such a effect on us with, with uh, you know, exposed wires? Or, you know, you could walk into a junkyard where there's, you know, so much copper and aluminum and you start to feel, you know, a, a, a little different because it's a lot of metal and metal has energy and vibration. Different sure. metals have different energies and different vibrations. Gold, platinum, copper, uh, silver, all these metals, every metal comes from, from the earth, from the ground. It comes from the ground, from the earth. And all these metals have different vibrations. Some are very healthy. Some are not healthy, and they all have different effects on our body. Positive effect, negative effect, different effects. So I think everyone should watch the vibration they're entering and feel if it's a good feeling or if it's not, you know, a good supportive feeling that makes you feel good. Right. So... For me, okay, so for me, I'm guided by my gut feeling. I believe that my gut is my, my angels talking to me, steering me, and directing me on where to go or where not to go. And if I go into a place, like that Walmart we went to, remember that Walmart? Right, remember right. Walmart? You can feel the low vibrational energy. I, in I couldn't place. function. I so, couldn't function. <laughs> so last week, we went to a Walmart together. And I was like, man, I can't breathe in here. I said, bro, because this location, 
This Walmart is a very low vibrational place. Say, oh my God, that's what it is. We can sense and pick up energy from people, from, from objects, from places, from animals. Anything, everything contains a vibrational energy. Everything does. Trust how you feel. If it feels wrong, don't go buy it. Don't touch it. Don't, man, don't do it. Like that story went into, remember that story? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy story. I said, ow, oh, bro, we need to leave now. He said, no, no, no. I said, bro, we got to leave. This is like really weird energy in the store. Very strange energy. You can always feel it. You can always sense it. All of us can. So there's a way to restore your energy. Okay. And one of, one of the most powerful ways to restore your energy is to the ocean. The mother ocean is one of the most biggest powerful things in the earth. The, the the mother the mother ocean is one of the biggest powerful things on earth and it's connected to the whole world it's connected to the whole world and why people prefer to eat seafood and fish because it's in it's in water it's a, it's already in water so comparing to you know an animal that's outside so the ocean has different minerals. The ocean has gold. The ocean has all different materials, different minerals and different metals. And it has a very large impact and effect on our magnetic field, on mm. just our whole electronic system of the heart, on absolutely everything. Right. And And I've had several people that weren't feeling well or had different kinds of, uh, you know, negativity drawn to them or anything. And multiple sessions of dipping in, you know, ocean salt water actually, you know, withdraws that energy out of your body. So it's very helpful. 100%. 120%. You know, um, water is a subject that I think we should dedicate one full episode to just water. Just educating people and telling them the true facts of water. There's a book that I have. Let's see if I got it. The book is from... Dr. Masaru Imodo called The Hidden Messages in Water. Where's my book here? I can't find it now. But basically, this book breaks down just how sacred water is. Your body is over 65% water. Men and women. Water is everything. So, yeah. We're going to talk about it later. For sure. Even even the clothing, even the clothing we have, you know, cotton grew from water. And, right. You know, one of the things I want to recommend is not to wear other people's clothing. Not to oh. wear other people's clothing and not to wear other people's shoes. And basically, the clothing... When somebody wears that clothing, the person, the person's sweat and debris uh, goes into this clothing, and it puts out the energy of that person into the clothing. So you could actually look at the person and pick up their shirt. And that energy of that person and the clothing that you're holding from them, you can feel that it aligns. So I recommend highly to everyone not to wear anybody's clothing, whether it's a shirt, 
whether it's a jacket, whether it's uh, shoes, or absolutely anything. This is not a healthy thing to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we have about five minutes left. Five minutes left. Um, and I think this is a very successful podcast. What do you think? I think we've uh, gave a lot of good information to the audience. And um, if they use this information, right, and follow, I think it will be very helpful for them. And helpful for them in many different ways because this is not just, uh, you know, being superstitious. This is actually practical. Right. This is something that, you know, multiple f multiple people, uh, just different experiments that I've done with multiple people, uh, all the information that we have disclosed is actually verified through an experience of a test that I personally did. Like I did the test with you with money, let you hold the bills. Oh yeah, I'm real different uh, bills and mm -hmm. uh, every bill had different energy. Right, it did. You know? So you so, know what? Okay, so how about this? Let's call this a successful podcast. Let me speak this right now. Let me speak it into existence. The Mind Investors Podcast is one of the top 10 podcasts in the world. That's what I'm believing in. The Mind Investors Podcast is one of the top 10 popular podcasts in the world. That's yeah. what I'm putting out. That's what I'm believing. Watch it happen. And I want to say that our success is to help and protect people, to help and educate people and help them to better themselves and help them make the changes they need to make to protect their success, to uh, protect themselves, to build their vibration, to teach them and educate them in many different ways Absolutely. as possible through all Absolutely. the experience that we have gained over the years. And I want to give all this experience and knowledge to our entire audience. You know what they say? Hey, people perish for the lack of knowledge. Not knowing something can cost you everything. So this is my pleasure and my passion to give away knowledge, to teach people, to remind people, to let them know of the power they have in their mind and, and in their mouth. And... I want to make a small statement. Today, I was listening to your affirmations on, uh, on gratitude, on gratitude about your body, saying, you know, my heart, I'm so grateful to have a good heart. I'm so grateful that my stomach, you know, is good. I'm so grateful for my kidneys. I'm so grateful. Basically being grateful, not just for, you know, the one whole you, but being grateful for every organ and everything that that we you know made out of absolutely made me feel and you know made my body and myself feel you know in such a different way that I've never felt before honestly it, it, it made it made it, it almost made my I felt like I watered and cured my whole body that's amazing. So I want to personally thank you for those affirmations, Justin. And uh, yeah. I think uh, all the thank material you that you put out and all the material that we're going to put out together is going to help thousands of people. And that's what we're here to do. Bro, let's change the world, man. Like, let's, 
let's transform the minds of millions of people. Let's help people, you know, become wealthy, live longer, fulfill healthier lives. Dude. I think I need a lot of people need to wake up. And I think the only thing that's going to help them wake up is your creation with the oil. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later, baby. Nobody knows this recipe yet, but nobody knows the recipe yet. This has a very positive effect on me. I, I feel like I got, you know, an extra boost, a jump start. Yeah, yeah. That this, this was product, uh, listen, this product is going to change the world. But everything in moderation, of course. That being said, guys, this was episode one of the Mind Investors podcast. And we'll be, yeah, I mean, we are just, just proud and happy to be here with you all. And more episodes are coming. For sure. All right, brother. That's it.